What's up guys, Dr. Greg here back with another episode of Race Explained. I hope you guys are all doing awesome. If this is your first time on the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button with the bell so you can stay up to date with all of my content. And if you guys are back, what's up? Today we're going to be talking about a topic that has been requested by a lot of you, and that is, what are bite plates? Let's go. So bite plates are used for patients that have a deep bite. And if you guys don't remember what a deep bite was, it's when you have a very large overbite, when your upper teeth overlap your lower teeth by a lot, meaning that you really can't see your lower teeth too well. So if you guys wanna learn a little bit more about what a deep bite is versus what an open bite is, I'm gonna link out a description in this video which will link you to another one of my videos that explains this in more detail. In addition to ideal bracket positioning as well as wire bending, we can use supplemental removable appliances like an anterior bite plate to help push the lower teeth down and intrude them to make your deep bite less deep. Deep bites can be corrected in a number of ways and sometimes we'll use bite turbos or we'll use what we have today, an anterior bite plate to correct a deep bite. So this is what an anterior bite plate looks like. What it is, is a piece of acrylic that goes on your upper arch with some wire components that help hold it in. The acrylic is thicker in the front and it doesn't cover the teeth in the back. And what this does is that it allows for when you bite down, only your lower teeth will touch the acrylic. What you can see here is that if you had a deep bite, your lower teeth would be covered up by your upper teeth. But when you have this bite plate in, what's gonna happen is that your lower teeth will hit the acrylic, just like this, and there'll be a constant force. Whenever you're chewing, that'll be pushing your lower teeth down and getting rid of your deep bite. So the primary way these bite plates work is that every time you bite down or you put your teeth together, what's happening is, is that these lower teeth are receiving a force downward which causes them to intrude and make your deep bite less deep. What makes the bite plate tough to use at first is the fact that it's thicker in the front. So it feels like there's something that's stopping your bite from coming together and it's exactly what it is. Just like as a bite turbo, but the thing with bite turbos is you can't remove them. These are a little bit unpleasant in the beginning, but if you wear them properly and as prescribed, they're gonna work really well for you. One of the key things about an anterior bite plate though is that you absolutely have to wear it around the clock. If you don't wear it, just like with elastics, it's not going to work. The other way that anterior bite plates work is that they create a little bit of a gap between your back teeth, which allows your back teeth to erupt a little bit more and make it so that your deep bite becomes less deep. When you're in a bite plate, your back teeth have a tendency to not touch. So what this will allow is that your back teeth will extrude on the top and on the bottom until they touch. And when they do, your deep bite will be a little bit less deep because your back teeth will be touching earlier. Most orthodontists will recommend that you wear this anterior bite plate around the clock. So that includes while eating, while drinking, while talking. And it might be a little bit tougher first, but it's during those activities that it really becomes efficacious. You should remove the bite plate at least twice a day though to make sure that you clean it properly. The way you clean it is like you would clean any retainer. You take it out, rinse it with cold water and use a toothbrush without toothpaste to get rid of all the plaque that's built up on the bite plate throughout the day and night. Occasionally, you can use something like polydent or another type of denture cleaning material, which I'll link in the description of this video, to clean up some of the harder material that's built up on the bite plate over time. In the beginning, you'll have a pretty tough time speaking with the bite plate, but within a matter of a day or a couple of days, you'll be perfectly good at using it, and you'll be able to speak with it and talk with it, and it'll be a really, really useful tool to help your deep bite get corrected faster than it would if you didn't use it. If you guys have used a bike plate before, please leave them in the description of this video. If you have any questions that I didn't quite address in this video, also leave them below and I'll get to them as fast as possible. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and please hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all of my content on this channel. I hope you guys have an awesome week and I'll see you guys next time on Braces Explained. For now, Dr. Greg, out.